Hey everyone, it's Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to go over Milwaukee's M12 soldering iron. This is model number 2488-20. This unit comes with two different heads. It has a chisel and a point head. Those are easily interchanged while the unit is cool. It has a three position head. When you turn it on, it gives you the battery fuel gauge on the tool and then it tells you if it's green blinking, it's heating up. If it's green, it's ready to go. And if it's red, it's telling you it's still hot, so be careful when you put it away. Now, Milwaukee says this unit heats up in 18 seconds. We timed that out and it came out to be about 21 seconds. The unit is 90 watts and what we really liked about it is it has an LED light on it because you can always use more light when you're soldering, especially if you're blind. Like, light doesn't necessarily <laughs> help, but if you're working up under the dash or something, that light is going to come in handy. Yes, you're right. It has a max temperature of 720 degrees, and we got our thermal imaging camera out and looked at this while it was heating up. And as it got hot, we got right around 230 to 220 degrees at the time it was it was saying it was warm so it works out quite well its battery life is going to depend on obviously what battery you have in it the higher amp hour battery the longer but we could chew through a two amp hour battery 20 25 minutes ish yeah. is uh where we were at soldering with it cool we have a different way talk about your soldering iron. well what i'm used to in the stone ages was you'll see pictures of it the big monster soldering iron which it takes literally no time at all to make a joint with. This is gonna take a little bit longer, but it's only a quarter of the size. But you're losing that cord, you can take this anywhere. So it just makes it so much handier. In our shop, we, we do, we use that large branding iron or soldering iron. Branding quite, iron. Quite often. And it takes 10 minutes to heat up. And it takes 30 three minutes hours to, to cool, cool down. Off. <laughs> and it doesn't have a stand, so you got to wrap it around or pinch it in a vise, something to let it cool down so you don't burn yourself or something else. And if you're in tight places, you're always worried about where that soldering iron is because it's hot in so many different places. And it's almost three quarters of an inch around. And so our secondary one is this little weller here, which is for very small wire, but it doesn't work nearly as well as the Milwaukee does. I have to give this unit props for the size of wire, if you have really small wire, or if you're working on circuit boards or something like this, this thing's gonna rock. Yes, and just, I ain't gonna stress it enough, no cord, take it anywhere. Yeah, it's cool. So for us inside cars, working on those uh, small wires underneath the dash, it's gonna be great. Getting into the engine compartment, if we have something larger, we can get the bigger soldering iron too. We would probably use that just because you can see how much faster it is on a larger wire. And for the guys working on small circuit boards and stuff with the point, needle point tip, it's just gonna be handy. It takes a few minutes to, for the unit to cool down, for you to, to change tips. It actually cools down quite quickly, uh, but the red light will stay on because there's a it's lot of cool heat now. that's built up in this little rubber area. And that's what keeps that unit on. You can actually touch that tip fairly quickly afterwards. Uh, again, I wouldn't, but we were testing that out with the thermal imaging camera, just seeing how hot it was. This is a cool unit. I mean, if you want to be cordless, you do a lot of little soldering, you're a mechanic. I think that that would be something that you could use. What do you I, think? I definitely. Like I, I said it two times already, no cord, take it anywhere with you. So if you're looking, the other thing I really like about this thing is you can set it down. Yeah, you right, don't it have, could be hot. You don't have to worry about burning something or yourself. Any edge, just set it down. It can fall over and it's not gonna hit anything. That's a huge upgrade from our one that's Monster. hanging from the vise right now, cooling down. <laughs> so if you're looking for a new soldering iron and you're gonna do a lot of smaller stuff, this is the ticket. Check it out. Also, go over to workshopaddict.com, check out our blog. We have a lot of giveaways and different projects going on right now. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.